Hey guys, it's Alex, and today I'm here with a book review for A Mango Shaped Space by Wendy Mass. This is a middle grade contemporary novel about a young girl who has synesthesia. Mia's known that she was different her entire life. She's known that not everyone else associates colors and textures with numbers and letters the way that she does, but she's never told anyone because she's afraid of being labeled as different or weird or abnormal in some way. Eventually it does come out, and she winds up on a journey of self-discovery throughout this book. I gave this five stars. This is one of my childhood favorites. This is so full of nostalgia for me, so that definitely does influence my rating and my feelings about this book, but it's just absolutely wonderful. This is a book I have reread so many times. I reread it in October for the booktube rereadathon. It was for the prompt of something that would make you cry, and I definitely cried. I sobbed through a good portion of this book. It's one of the saddest things I've read. It hits me so hard every time in just the right way that I can't breathe because I'm crying and I just have to put the book down because I'm crying too hard to read anymore. And even with the flaws that it actually does have, because as an adult I do notice more flaws than I did when I read this at age 12, if something can make me cry that hard, if something can make me feel that much emotion, it deserves five stars because that's what I'm looking for in a book. I'm looking for a book that's going to make me feel something, and this book really does in so many ways. To start out with some of the negatives before I just go positive again because I love it, I have heard that the synesthesia rep is very bad. I know nothing about synesthesia really, um, I mean not nothing, but very very little outside of this book. And judging by reviews on Goodreads, most people who do know about synesthesia, whether they have first-hand experience themselves or they've done research, say it's not well done. So don't go into this expecting realistic synesthesia rep. I think it's important to discuss flaws like that in the book. It clearly didn't affect my rating because I don't know anything about synesthesia, so I feel bad that like the representation is bad, but also I don't know. It really doesn't affect my feelings about this book apart from that kind of sucks that she did that poorly. I also think that it's really fast-paced. Uh, reading this, it just felt like it takes place over the course of a week and a half. Like, that's what it feels like. And then she'll reference something that happened at the beginning of the book and be like, oh yeah, that happened like two and a half months ago. And I'm sitting here feeling like, how? Like, how has this much time passed? Like, it goes from the beginning of the school year all the way up through Thanksgiving. And that's just such a long time frame for a fairly quick book, and the pace in this book just feels like everything happens way too quickly. I really wish this had been slowed down. And I do understand that it's a kid's book, so it's obviously going to be a little faster paced than like an adult book, but I still think it just really needed like a little bit of extra time with all the events and all the circumstances that happened in the book, because I really loved it so much. It's just hard to connect when everything is flying past you as a reader. I also think that it's a little bit too simplistic in terms of the writing style, and again, I do understand it's a middle grade book. I read a lot of middle grade. This feels simplistic even for a middle grade novel. I don't think you need to dumb it down that much for kids. Like I've read middle grade books that are complex, that have complex ideas and complex sentences that are still like very appropriate for children to read, that children are very capable of reading. And I do think this was just a little bit too simplistic. And I also read this after I read like two very dense complex adult books, so that definitely added to my feeling of that. But I don't think it needed to be quite as simple as it was, and that made it just a little bit less enjoyable. That's not something I noticed, you know, when I was reading this at age 12, but at 26 I did, and I just wish it had been a little bit more complex. And not really a negative thing, but there is a scene when the main character, who is 13 I believe in the book, decides she wants to go to an acupuncturist for her synesthesia. It's related in some way. Not really important for this anecdote. But she decides she wants to go to an acupuncturist, and her parents will not be down. She doesn't ask them, she just knows that they're going to be like, no, that's like not okay, we're not going to have someone poke you with needles, you're like a 13 year old kid. Which is a valid response for a parent but she decides she wants to go anyway. So she lies her way into the acupuncturist, basically. She lies to her friend, she lies to her friend's mother, she lies to the acupuncturist and the receptionist, and just like to her parents and like lies to everyone and gets away with it. 
and I've never been so uncomfortable when reading a book and like even as a kid that made me uncomfortable and I'm not blaming Wendy Mass for that at all like she's not writing it as a this is a good thing she's doing or she's not excusing it in any way it's just something this character does and it just makes me so uncomfortable as an adult like reading this like someone stop this child from getting a medical procedure done without the consent of her parents like she's a kid and one of these adults needs to be responsible enough to like call her parents directly and be like yo we need your consent for this medical pr procedure and it just oh it makes me cringe so hard and i'm not blaming wendy mass for that that's just like something i experienced as a reader like i don't know when the last time a book has made me like that uncomfortable because that was just like not okay <laughs> like all the irresponsible adults surrounding that situation like someone needed to stop her she's a kid she doesn't know any better but all the other in adults involved definitely should have and then on to the positives there are a lot of positives i talked about some at the beginning i also think this book deals with grief very well at at the start of this book she's grieving for her grandfather who died about a year before this book started she was very close with her grandfather and at her grandfather's funeral she found a cat a little kitten who'd just been like astray he'd been abandoned they took him to the vet and now she has a kitten named mango which is where where the mango shaped space comes from and it just deals with the grief of her grandfather and her relationship with his cat and family is a very strong influence in this book which i think is just so well done i think it's just such an interesting story like even with the synesthesia rep done poorly it's so worthwhile just in terms of the family dynamics and the friendship dynamics and at times B is not a very likable character and I enjoy that in middle grade when a character is bratty because when you're 13 and you're stressed about school and you don't know what's going on with you you're a brat like maybe not literally every 13 year old but you're immature you don't know how to deal with these complex emotions yet like most adults don't know how to deal with complex emotions and it's just so well done in this book and I like her so much for being a flawed person and for being a kid who's screwing up her life and screwing up relationships with people and learning from it and it's just it's a lovely book it makes me so happy like i almost gave it four stars but honestly i just cry so hard at the end of this there's just a long section where i completely bawl my eyes out and i don't know that any other book ever makes me cry that hard I gave my kitty a lot of hugs while I was reading this and I definitely recommend having a kitty to hug while you read this book it's it's worthwhile this is just whenever I want a good cry I just want to sit down and sob over a book this is the book I pick up I've read it a half a dozen times probably maybe more than that uh, enough that I went to the library and got it whenever I wanted it and now I just bought my own copy so that I can read it whenever I want it I definitely recommend this book if you like kind of issue driven middle grade contemporaries i think it's wonderful it was one of my favorites when i was 13 and it definitely still holds up let me know down below if you've read a mango shaped space and what you thought of it if you have and as always thank you guys so much for watching and i will see y'all again soon